Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. It's Thirsty Thursday. It's time to make a drink. If you're all wondering why I'm smiling so big today, it's because I already made this drink 15 minutes ago and I forgot to turn this camera and my microphone on. So I have to remake it. <laughs> so I've already had a full drink. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to be making like a Christmas version of a mimosa. So instead of making a mimosa, we're going to be making a poinsettia. But before I get started, if this is your first time here, my name's Sherry. I love food and fun. And if you love the same thing, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and check the description below. You'll find some details on how subscribing helps to feed the hungry. Okay, so yeah, I already made one of these <laughs> and it's really good. I already know what it tastes like. It's really, really good. So all you really need is some cranberry juice, some champagne, or in my case, I decided to use some sparkling red wine. So I kind of think they're kind of like the same thing. I guess. I don't know. If you're a bartender, you'll have to tell me if you're a real bartender because I'm not. <laughs> Actually, I used to be, but I never made like mimosas, I don't think. It was always like, you want red or blue? Did you want the Bud Light or did you want Budweiser? <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of bar I worked at. So for garnish, you need a little sprig of rosemary and a couple of cranberries that I've washed and dried. So basically, we just need about a quarter cup of cranberry juice that we're going to pour in here. I'm just going to kind of eyeball that. Oops. And spill some on the counter in the process. And then we're just going to top this with our sparkling red wine or champagne, like I said. And then to make the garnish, we're just going to take our cranberries and a toothpick. And we're going to poke right through the end of our cranberry. We're basically just drilling out a hole is what we're doing. So a couple of cranberries. Get this one here. And then once you've got your little hole drilled, then you can take your sprig of rosemary and just run it right through there. And that makes a pretty little garnish to put on top. Where's the other hole at? I did poke a hole in this one, didn't I? There it is. Okay. Perfect. And then I'm not sure if the garnish goes this way. I think when I saw it, it just kind of went across the top like that. Either way, we need to give this a try. I'm going to pretend like I don't know what it tastes like. Mmm, that's delicious. <laughs> I really taste more of the wine than I do the cranberry. And I don't know if that's because there is more wine than cranberry juice or just because the wine seems kind of strong to me. I haven't had red wine in a long time. But nonetheless, it's delicious, and I think it's really pretty. I can't wait to photograph it. And also, I just think it's a great cocktail, like for breakfast, for like maybe Thanksgiving or even Christmas. I think it's just great for the holidays. And I think the name's really cute, too, Poinsettia. So I hope you guys give this one a try. It's really, really pretty. Let me know what you think in the comments. I thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next Thursday with another drink recipe. Bye. Bye.